Hey guys, um, this is Ethan. I mean, I guess you can see that from over here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this study tool uh, called Quizlet because um, I've never heard it, you know, talked about at Broggle. Um, so some of you may know how to use it. Some, a lot of you may know how to use it or may at least know what it is, I don't know. Um, but I used it a lot uh, in high school and I found it really helpful. So I'm just gonna kind of run through the basics of how to use it, all right? So um, all you do is, you know, like go, go to your search bar, type in Quizlet, just spelled exactly like it is up here. Um, let's pr press enter and it'll bring you to a screen. Um, and then in like the upper right, it'll say like login. So, uh, and then you can click login. If you don't have an account already, you can just click login with Google and like use a Google like Gmail account. Um, this one, I'm just using my old uh, like high school account because that's the one that I have like uh, one like ones that I've used in the past saved just um, so I'm gonna use like one or two of them to uh, demonstrate uh, like actually how you use Quizlet. Um, but I mean, a lot to, um, generally, if you just like create a new Quizlet account with a Google sign in, um, you're going to have just a clear home page. Um, and uh, what you can do from there is you can um, you can either search for Quizlets. Um, and literally all this is like, say you want to you want to find like a study tool for decimals, you can just type in decimals and search. Um, and then it gives you Quizlets that, you know, various people have made. Uh, and you can just look through, uh, find one that you think is going to be helpful, and you can click on it and use it. But I'll get into that in a second. Um, the other big thing about Quizlet, I, oh, I'm like, probably like the main thing about Quizlet is that it's basically uh, a way to make uh, like virtual flashcards, um, which I find really helpful because, you know, whenever my teachers in school said, go home, make yourself some flashcards, study these terms or study, I don't know, the, the multiplication rules of numbers, factors, stuff like that. I hated it. I, I really just have never liked flashcards. Um, I kind of see them as a bit of a waste of paper, but also I just hated making them. And I know like, actually making the flashcards is part of, you know, studying with the flashcards. But personally, I just prefer to use a Quizlet and then maybe study a little bit more. Um, but we'll get into that. So what you can do is you can go, once you have your Quizlet home, even if it's blank, you can go up here and click create and create a study set. Um, and then, uh, sure. Um, I don't know why that's in there already, maybe from earlier. Uh, we'll keep it. Um, this is, this is uh, I will admit, this is like my third try recording this video. It, I've had people interrupt me like the past. Um, but uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is just for an example, I'm gonna type the title of this study set, you know, like the set of flashcards, I'm gonna say fractions, a description, uh, let's say converting to decimals. And then uh, let's do the first term. So let's say the term is one half. So actually what this does, uh, this is kind of cool. It recognizes that you're trying to do division um, it's not always going to work because sometimes it doesn't do all fractions, but it recognizes one half. And so, that, um, but let's say we do like one ninth to do this. Oh, it does. Okay. Um, which, you know, is kind of a, a way to make your life easier for making the flashcards. You don't necessarily need to like use your calculator or like do it out by hand every time you want to make a term. Um, but yeah, so one, let's do one third. Point three, oh, one fourth, five, one fifth, two, five, sixth, point one two five, 
Is it? 0.16. Oh, no. One eighth is 0.125. What am I talking about? Seventh. Three. One eighth. 0.25. And then let's say 1 over 10. Because we already did 1 out of 9 up there. 0.1, right? So we have 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth. One ninth and one tenth. Yeah. Um, let's just do one more, I guess, like one. Um, so I'm just I'm just gonna stop here. These are like our ten flashcards that we're gonna start with. All right, and then we can create the study set. Oh my gosh, language. Choose a language up here. I'm just gonna choose English, even though they're all numbers. So it's kind of stupid, but like whatever. Um, all right, but now we have our, our uh, yeah, when you make it, you can send it to an email and you just. Whoever you wanna send a study set, like if you have a friend and you have their email and you wanna send them your Quizlet that you made, you can send it to them. Can, like copy the link and post it in like a Google Doc or something. I don't know. But um, here, now that you have like a study set that you've made, um, here's where like the different ways of studying can come in with Quizlet. So um, you see that we have this first card. Um, all, what you can do here is you can just kind of use them in a very basic way. Like this is one half. I know that's 0.5. You click it and then it shows you the answer. So you can check if you're right or wrong. And then you can go over one ninth, I know that's 0 0.111, one third, 0 0.333, and keep going 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.16, 0 0.13. Yeah. Um, however, um, an important part of Quizlet is that you can star the one, any cards. So the features generally for like the ones you're having trouble with. So let's say I'm having a hard time remembering one ninth, one third, one sixth, and one seventh. All right, uh, let's do one eighth too, I guess. All right, so now what we can do is starred. Um, you can like click the starred and now you'll notice up here before it only said study, now it's a study star only. If I go back and click all, just study in general um and then it changes so i'm going to show you what happens when you just have all of them selected and then i'll show you what the star does so i'm just saying all of them even the ones that i'm having trouble with and the ones i'm not struggling with and you can click flashcard over here and now what you can do is basically uh a more centralized version of what i was doing before so 0.5 you can answer it. Oh, I know that's like one half. Cool. Um, and then you can go next. Uh, you see, this is one I've starred. So this is one I know I'm having trouble with. So this is just a signal to me that I can uh, maybe pay attention, extra attention to this one and practice it more. I know this is one ninth. Cool. So let's say I like master this one. I, I don't think I need to have it starred anymore. I could unstar it. This is a 0.33. I uh, know that's one third. And then let's say I forget this one. This I, I say this is one over, uh, like one over 15, I don't know, just something. And then I get it wrong. It's one over four. So I can star it here, just like I unstarred the other one. All right. And then what I can do is I can also shuffle them. So just so you don't have like the order. So this is like one sixth. 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 4. You see how it's not the same order as what we made the study set in? Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the main part of the flashcards here, right? Um, what you can also do is you can go back and you can go into this learn section. This is probably the one that I use most often, honestly. Um, go for the set, complete mastery. It's all, let's say it's all new to me. Uh, continue to free learn. All right. Um, 
Welcome to learn. All right, so answer every I, every term correctly twice to finish. Got it. So it gives you this point one. You need to, it's like multiple choice, just which uh, it gives you multiple choice options from the from the fractions that we have in our in our study set in our set of flashcards. Um, I know this one, it's one tenth. Uh, point two, I know this is one fifth. Uh, this is, let's say I get confused by this one and I say it's one seventh. So it tells me, study this one, you got it wrong. Uh, press any key to continue, I can just keep going. I know this is one half, one eighth, uh, one fourth. And you'll notice on the side, it says how many I still have yet to like see. And this is how many I've seen so far. Um, yeah, that's just lets you know how many left in the study set that you have to get through. One. Uh, let's say, get this wrong again. I say it's one seven. All right. So it says I'm now familiar with these ones. And then remaining, see, because I kept getting this one wrong, it's still like not familiar. Uh, but let's say this is one seventh. One third, one ninth, uh, one over ten. See, so so now it's switching up the format of the uh, question. So the ones that I was already familiar with that I saw before, it's giving me in a slightly different format. So it's not giving me the multiple choice. I just have to remember on my own. Uh, I know this is one half. Uh, this one is again the one I kept getting wrong. So let's say it's one sixth. So I got it right this time. And this is one fifth. All right, now I'm familiar. I, I know well three of them because I answered all of these correct every time. And now I'm familiar with a lot of them still because I didn't see all of them in that new format. And then this one, I kept getting it wrong. So this is one over eight. Uh, one over, let's say, I, what happens when I get this one wrong again? See, it just says you said one over five. It doesn't actually say everything is wrong. It points out exactly what part of like your answer that you differed from the right answer. So I said one fifth, the right answer was one sixth. So it highlights the five and says it should have been a six. Um, this is one over one. Uh, this is one over nine. This is three. Now, because I keep getting this one wrong, this is one I'm still kind of familiar with, but don't know very well. So really what this is doing is that it knows that I, I know the, all the other nine terms really well. I have them kind of mastered and it's gonna give me to like finish the learn section, it's gonna give me this question again. Now I'm still so close it, it and because I kept getting it wrong, it, it still says I'm not quite familiar enough with it. So it's one sixth. Cool. So now what I can do is I can finish. And now um, what I can do is I can actually go back to learn. And I can go to options. And I can start over. Yes, restart learn. So now it basically resets. So I'm not like familiar with all any of them. Uh, and so it just starts me right off the bat. And now what I can also do is say I wanna, I, I don't wanna answer with the fractions, I wanna answer with the decimals. What I can do is I can go in here and say, um, and this only is, you know, based on the, uh, like which ones we made the term and definition when we made the study set. I made all the terms, the uh, fractions and all the definitions, the decimals. Pardon me. So let's, let's click answer with the definition and not with the term. Let's start over. Yes, restart line. All right. So now it gives me the fraction. Now I have to remember what decimal it corresponds to. All right. And then basically the same thing, just going 0.33, da da da, one tenth, sixth, one ninth, one half. Yeah. And see, you just do it again, you know? So. 
it's gonna it's gonna do the same thing where the uh, the next stage it's gonna give me the rest of the three that I haven't seen yet just because it does in like sets of seven. It's kind of weird. Uh, but then it's also gonna give me ones where I just have to put I have to type in the answer. So let's see. Hold on. One two five. Yeah. See, I just need to answer that one. Is <laughs> accidentally clicked enter before I typed it in. <laughs> Yikes, uh, that one I know is 0 0.333. And this one is 0 0.2. This one is 0. Point. Oh, yikes. <laughs> See, I'm even messing up. I'm tired, man. Oof. Uh, oh my God, this is bothering me now. <laughs> oh man, okay. Yeah, see, the the one limitation of Quizlet is that it can it can it'll say you're wrong if you don't exactly match. So, I mean, it is you know important to always type it in correctly, like zero point uh, two five for one fourth. I just clicked point two five, um, which isn't you know correct. It's not how you're supposed to write it, but I just did it without thinking. Uh, but now it, it counts as wrong, so. It's going to get you used to even just doing everything the right way. Right? Yeah. Zero. Six. All right. Zero point. One. Zero point five. Zero point one two five. Yeah. See? Just the same thing. All right. Um, so that's enough with learn. Um, and now the write and the spell, I don't like as much. I'll show you what they are. Um, write, all it is, is it's basically just the part of the learn that you just have to type in the answer. So I know. Six, seven, nine. And then all you, all you can do is you can just start over. Um, let's say I get this one wrong, two. Uh, one over nine. Or let's say I get this one wrong again. I say it's one over four. And then one over six. Eight. One. And all right. And now see it says correct, I got eight out of ten. Incorrect, I got two out of ten. I need key to continue. Now it's gonna give me the two that I got wrong. So one over three, one over two. Now it shows me that. This one and this one I got wrong the first time for round one and then round two uh, when I finally got them all right. Yeah. So now after this, I um, because it, it senses that since I got them wrong, I'm having trouble with them, I can star these terms and start over. So now all I'm studying is the star term. So one over two, one over three. I got them both right. All right. Um, it's just kind of like a small variation on the learn feature and then spell is yeah type what you hear so when i click this it's just going to read out to me like one over ten yeah it's it's in my opinion it doesn't really make sense it just reads you the like the fraction that you're supposed to write like it, it just it just read to me one half like word for word it just said one half and so I just know that's what I type in. I don't, I don't, I don't really get that one. Maybe it's just you know how to say it as well as because I guess Quizlet is all generally and a lot of times used for vocabulary. So maybe it's to help with your pronunciation of words. Um, but if you're doing stuff like math, uh, I I wouldn't really rely on the spell feature. And then a test, the test is probably the last one that I think is really useful, but. Uh, less of like a game, because there's a couple game features that I haven't showed you yet. Um, but uh, the test, the test basically breaks up all of the 10, uh, all of like the 10 
uh, questions like the study cards and breaks them all into different question formats. So this one is kind of like the learn part where you have to type in like half, one over seven, one over three. This one is matching. So I know that's B. I know that's A. I know that's then multiple choice, point two. I know that's one fifth, point one, one tenth, and then a true or false. So does point one one, it has an arrow. It basically means like equal. Does point one one equal one seventh? False. 0.25 equals one fourth. True. Check answers. I got 100, right? And then all it is is, you know, if you get some wrong, it just tells you, like, hey, you got these ones wrong. Study these ones. Um, so basically, it's a really easy way to, rather than like answering questions on your own or like on paper and then looking up the answers in Google or something, um, it basically just tells you, like, hey, these are wrong. Study these ones. And it, it gives you a bunch of different formats to study the ones you're having trouble with, especially. All right. Oh, and then I, I should say for the test, um, the test is kind of similar to like the learn feature um, options. Uh, if there's a certain question type, like say you're really good at the like the matching, the true or false, and the multiple choice are really easy for you. Um, or let, let, let's say uh, the true or false are the hardest ones for you. How about that? You can just set it so that it's only true or false questions and then study the starred ones, like say those are the ones you're having the most trouble with, um, and then create new test. How about that? So now it's going to give you, because these are the ones we have starred, uh, it's 0.33 equal to one half, false. It's 0.5 equal to one third, false. All right. Um, but yeah, that's just like another way you can customize the test. Uh, the other two like features that you have um, in, in Quizlet available to you are the match and gravity games. You see how it says like these say study, these say play. Um, so these are kind of more games to, to motivate you to study. They kind of trick you into studying by like acting as games. Um, I'll just show you. I'll just show you what each of them is, I guess. So the match game is basically, it gives you a bunch of boxes with your terms and your definitions in, and you have to drag, like click and drag them to match with each other. Yeah, you'll get it. So like one tenth, point one, I drag these together, they disappear. One third, I find 0.33, match, one ninth, 0.11, one, one, one fifth, one sixth, one half. There, see? And now, because I'm the only one that's done this, because I just created this set, it doesn't have anyone else on like the leaderboard. But let's say I play again and I try and like race myself. 0.33 is, gosh, one third, one ninth, one sixth, one, one. See, now I'm like I shaved like a little bit over four seconds off my my past score. And you can just keep trying to get faster and be like reflexive with it. One ninth. One third, one eighth, one fourth, one seventh, one fifth. Woo! I shaved like another second off. You know, it just helps you get faster. Um, and obviously, like I already know all these answers because they're pretty basic fractions that I memorized a while ago. Um, but for for like harder terms, you know, it's not uncommon for it to take like 40 seconds. Like say, I don't really know what these fractions very well, which ones correspond. I uh, got that one wrong, got that one wrong. See, like you could just do like, until you get one right, but you see you're wasting time. And um, See what I mean? Uh, so this is just kind of like a game that you get to time yourself and then, um. I'll show you in a second how on like a Quizlet that multiple people play this game on, you can kind of compete with like your classmates to try and have the best time. And then gravity is just a different game where it basically like sends these little circles or hexagons or whatever. Uh, what are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're hexagons. <laughs> um, they send them like across your screen and they have 
uh, let's say we answer with the definition. Yeah, so we're going to be answering with the decimals. Uh, we'll make it medium. Uh, study all the terms. Let's go. So watch out for the red asteroids. If you miss a term twice, they will destroy your planet. Okay. So one fourth. This is zero point two five. See, and it misses or it disappears. Uh, zero point five. Uh, zero point one. 0 0.125, 0 0.333, 0 0.2, 0 0.111. See, and now we leveled up, so now it's going to be faster. Uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2. All right, level up again. So they're going to be coming faster now. Let's so, so let's say I have trouble with this one. I think this is like 0.16. You got it wrong. 0 0.35. I don't know. So I got it wrong. I missed it. I can try and answer this one. So I made that one disappear, but since the the one eighth one passed by me, it shows me the correct answer and just asked me to type it because, I mean, it seems kind of pointless if it's just telling you it's like, hey, type this out. But the uh, whole point of this is to like make you take the time, like make the intention to, like look at the answer, type it out, and then hopefully you will remember it for next time. So 0 0.25, 0 0.2, uh, one. And then zero point. Now level up. Let's see if we get a red asteroid. Zero point two. Oh, red asteroid. So that means this is one that I got wrong before. So let's point one two five. Got it right. Cool. And then five. Uh, zero point six. 0 0.1. All right. Um, so that's probably enough. <laughs> but you just keep going. They keep going faster. And basically, it's kind of it's kind of like a slower version of match almost. Um, you're kind of you have a certain time limit to figure out the answer for each one. Um, and it just kind of just builds, you know, the answers to these, you know, definitions or these flashcards. <sighs> Pardon me, it just makes it like really reflexive for you, right? So um, I mentioned earlier, you can uh, search for Quizlets. I showed you how that, how you can do that. Um, but let's, let's go, I'm going to do the periodic table one. This is one from back in like my freshman year of uh, chemistry. Uh, this is just my old chemistry teacher. Her miss, her, her name was Miss Baldigo when I had her, and she got married. Not that that matters, but <laughs> sorry, I'm just rambling. Um, and so column up and down. This is talking about the periodic table, as it says up there. So it's looking for what what a column on a periodic table is called. That's called a group. So, and then row is called a period. Number of electrons in the outer shell of an atom is called valence electrons. Yeah. Um, alkali metals, halogens, uh, inert noble gases. Yeah. All right. And then it just has a bunch of different things. And now, you know, we could do the flashcards, we do learn, we could do write, spell, test, what have you. But this one, um, the whole point of going to one that other people have used or searching one up uh, and then clicking on it is that probably other people have done the match and gravity games. Let's, so let's go to match, uh, start a game, ductile, brittle, shatters, where metals are located, left row, margins. There, so I got 10.8 seconds. So now, as you can see, it puts me on the leaderboard with other people that have done this game. And you see, I'm with my 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 time that I just got 10.8 seconds. 
I mean, 20th place, you know? And so you can see first place, it, like 0.5 seconds. Oh my God. Um, that's really fast. Um, but like 7.2, 7.6, 7.8, 8, 8, and you can just, it's, it's kind of a way for you to compete with your, uh, with your friends uh, and classmates and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can, and the same thing with the, uh, with the um, gravity game. Like, I'll show you real quick. The leaderboard is just like the score that you get. Um, I'll just let it go. And then same thing, just type like, And then it got ahead of me because I started late. But yeah, same thing. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, again, like I said before, uh, you can just like look up in here. And you see like this uh, this geometry terms. This is like a guy that I don't know. I just looked it up. Um, like I just learned. I looked up geometry and found this one, and this guy, I have no idea who this is. Um, just someone on Quizlet. Quizlet's kind of like like a, a big a, a group, like a community where when you, you make a study set, other people can use it and kind of just benefiting everyone and helping each other out. Um, and there's pretty much like every topic you could think of, you could find one. Like, let's say government, well, government. See, there's government, government exam, government final, AP government. Um, let's say like English, English uh, vocabulary. Um, you know, analogy clause, edit. You know, different vocabulary terms. These are like different languages. I think this is. Russian? I think that's sort of like, I don't know. Um, these are images with like, you know, the terms that you're trying to write out. English, those are like actually English terms. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why Obama's there, but uh, whatever. Um, yeah, so basically you can just find a study set for whatever you're trying to do, or you can just make your own. Um, and then you can share it with your friends or just like make, like leave it public. Um, you can go to your folders and you can kind of like add your your study sets to folders like I could hold on. Let's, let's see if I can add this to a folder. Um, edit, share, info, and combine, embed. Like, yeah, let's say I want to edit the study set after I've already made it. You can just click edit and then visible to everyone, only editable by me. Cool. Um, I could even add images if I wanted to. I don't know why images would really help with fractions, but <laughs> I guess not a perfect example, but, and then, you know, you could import from, Im import, <laughs> import from Word, Excel, Google Docs. So you, um, you can basically like copy and paste uh, from like a Google Doc. So you, like, say I have a list, I could just highlight Um, but yeah, so cancel import. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I hope, uh, I explained it pretty well. I ran through all the basic terms of Quizlet. Um, I hope that, you know, if this looks helpful to you, you can go, um, you'll notice that this doesn't cost anything to sign up for and just sign up with a, a Gmail account. Um, see this little upgrade that says like upgrade to premium Quizlet, uh, I don't know if there's really any point for that. Maybe you get other features, other study tools, but I've always found that, you know, basic free Quizlet is a good go-to with all the, with all the uh, options it gives you. So um, I hope this helps. Uh, 
I hope you guys, you know, if you consider making like flashcards in the future, maybe you try Quizlet out, see if it helps you. If it doesn't, and just like stick to normal flashcards. I mean, whatever works works for anyone. I just prefer not making flashcards by hand. Um, but yeah, so uh, that'll be it, guys. Um, have a good one. Take care.